Hello everyone, it's still Scratch Auto Prime and today we're quickly going to talk about a special block in the motion category. Now in this channel we are going to, I'm going to teach you how all each of the blocks in Scratch work. So today we are going to be working with the move 10 steps in the motion category. So I'm going to drag it out and put on my code area. Now can you see this? Now, what's the job of this block? Yes, I know you have a clue. It's to make your sprite move, right? Yes. Now, if I click on this block, you see what happens. My sprite is moving. Look at the cat. So it's moving, right? Yes. And when I change it to negative, minus, Let's say I have I have negative 10 here, negative 10, and I press the move. You see it going back, right? Now the move 10 steps help you move your sprite in the direction which it is facing. Can you see? With the direction which is facing, it helps you move 10 steps in that direction. If I change this to positive, it's either moving forward or moving backward in the direction which it is facing. Now, let's see how it works. If I go to this other one and change the direction to 45 degrees, this is 45 degrees. We have it there now. So when I click move, is going in the direction which is facing and I go back to the input now don't forget this 10 step is the input you can decide to increase it it must not be 10 you can decide to make it 1 2 3 4 5 20 30 or you reduce it to minus or 0 0.5 depending on how well how fast or how slow you want it to move so I'm going to make it negative so make it negative 10 or minus 10 now I click on it now you see it's going backwards. So this input, depending on how you want it to move, so the move 10 steps help you to, the sprite to move in the direction which it's facing. Now don't forget, this is Scratch Auto Prime. Click on the subscribe button, like this video, share this video, and if you have any question, or, or leave a like and comment in this button below. Have a great time, and we will see you next time. Bye.